Hi, it's me. It's Ann. How you doing? Anyway, I'm going to show you what I do when I want some really interesting, relative, co relatively curated collections of singular colors, but I don't have the money to go hog wild and order all of the color pop palettes. I just don't. But I found an alternative. At least for some of it. Want to see what I'm talking about? Right this way. Hello. It's me. It's Ann. I'm back. Yup. I'm back. No, really. Yes, normally I try to aim for Tuesdays on my weekly shots, but hey, I had a lazy week. Happens now and again. Anyway, any of you who saw one, some of the Instagram stuff that I've put up recently saw me with the orange version of this palette and a look that I did with it. This one is the Avocado Green, again by Delancey. There were four palettes. There's the, um, there's the blue palette, the orange palette, the purple palette, and the green palette. Now, I'm not going to do the Space Blue real soon, or as a standalone anytime soon. Because I'm saving that for a collab that I'm doing a bunch of blues in. So, there you go. I'm going to do the green one now. Yes, I kind of swatch things, so stuff is kind of everywhere. And then, I'm going to do the purple. But I'm not going to... I'm doing pretty much the same thing with all of the shadows. You don't necessarily need to see me actually pick up the shadows and put them on. And with the swatches that I did, which is like three, maybe four colors for each one, when there's 15, and I'm going... It's on my wrinkly old arm. There's no primer. I'm using a finger only instead of a brush. That doesn't tell you what it's going to look like on your eyes. I did that basically just to show you that, yes, they are quite pigmented. So, I've moisturized the mug. But I did not SPF the mug because I'm trying out a different foundation. It's the Maybelline Urban Dream Urban Cover, which has an SPF 50. So, I'm going to try that out. I tried it out as a sample on the back of my hand when it came in. Yes, I took my showers, just making sure that it really all went away. Because if you don't like fragrances, you probably will have a little issue with this. It's not perfume. It smells like sunblock. You smell like you're at the beach. When you first put it on, it's pretty noticeable. It does tend to fade out a bit during the day, but if somebody is actually close to you, or like with the little patch I had on the back of my hand, if I did this, I could smell sunscreen. Okay? Okay. I've got a little... I got mosquito bit right here, which is really sad. Yes, my hair is purple. In case you haven't seen my announcement about my hair color, my hair is purple. My husband 
got to make his choice. And then when he put it on, he kind of left little things here and there that were not covered. So I've got some of that, that gold from the last fade out that where I had bleached my hair before I did that pale pink. So I've got some of that gold still showing up through the purple. And at first I was a little leery. And we both decided if I really hated where the gold was showing through, we could go get another box and do it again. And I've kind of decided it's kind of interesting. There's not a lot of it, and it's in a kind it's in kind of odd spots, but it's kind of interesting. So we're leaving it alone for the time being. Does this mean I will be purple forever? Probably not. But this is the splat 30 wash bleach not necessary formula. So I've got six, eight weeks maybe before I need to really think about it. And that will give me almost a half inch of, of roots showing. And yes, we are going to be shaving this down again. It's actually getting a little long for my taste. Anyway, I'm going to pick up this green palette. It's fall. I've got fall allergies. Itchy nose. Pardon me. And I'm going to show you. Let's see if I can do this without breaking it. There's the palette. Now, I am not terribly fond of the chunky glitters. But I liked the other colors enough I was willing to put up with some of the chunk. I really do think they could have put another couple of just pans in and left out the chunk, but that's me. So, instead of getting the ColourPop sets, the nines, why did I get a 15 pan set with three chunks of glitter in it instead of a nine pan with one chunk of glitter in it? Well, for one thing, this 15 pan set up from Delancey, I got two of the palettes for just a couple bucks more than what you pay for one of the ColourPop 9s. Is it as good as ColourPop? I don't know. I don't have the ColourPop. I haven't tried the ColourPop. Don't know. But it fit my budget better, which was my criteria. Okay, this is the Ruby Kisses. And it's called Ruby Kiss by Kiss. No, not the band. At least I don't think by the band. I don't know. They could probably use it. Um... Other than they don't really seem to be doing that much with their makeup if they are on stage anymore. Again, this is something I picked up because it was inexpensive. Picked it up through Amazon. Sometimes you can get two tubes of this for just a couple, three bucks. 
I don't know if it matches up to the primer potion, which the bottle kind of mimics. I've had somebody offer to send me some primer potion because they have apparently a large collection from their subscription boxes. So I can do a comparison. We'll see if that happens and we'll see when it happens and all that. Do. Got that on there. And now I'm going to decide where I'm going to start. And believe it or not, I'm going to start a little different than I usually do. I usually start out here and work in. I've seen some people who like to start here and work out. I'm going to try that this time just for the heck of it. Now, I picked up that yellow green, kind of a sour apple or avocado flesh, if you will. And I gave it a little spritz just because. I'm not sure that it's necessarily a, a shimmer shade, but I wanted it a little damp. Because I wanted it just a bit more intense than it probably would have gone on dry. That is pretty. That is really pretty. I believe I like that. That is some intense green. And that is absolutely a gorgeous color. Now, kindly remember, I'm doing this mostly with no vision here which is part of the reason when I'm looking at it in the palette it makes it difficult for me to determine if I'm looking at a subtle shimmer or not My eyes, they ain't so good. Fine details can escape me. Oh, yeah. Let's see. Now, this is one, one more over from that avocado interior green. This one's a little bit darker. Again, I think it's got some shimmer to it. Remember to dry those brushes, children. Don't put a wet brush into your color pan. 
don't put a wet brush on your colors. Pay attention. Wet brush on the colors, you're going to end up with hard pan. And when you end up with hard pan that way, Eventually, the fluid will soak down into the pan and hit the bottom. You won't be able to scrape off the hard pan cover because it'll be all the way through. Dry off your brushes because if you don't dry off your brushes you could have fluid running down inside the ferrule loosening up those pretty bristles on your brushes and you know what happens then you have a wrecked brush neither which situation is inexpensive The last thing you want to have to do is replace repeatedly. When just taking a little extra care can save you a lot of heartache. pick up one of my round brushes and I'm going to pick up this is kind of a juniper green it's got a little bit of a blue to it but it's more of a matte this one down here kind of pretty It's got that little bit of a blue to it, kind of just a blue hint. I'm just going to define this outer portion a little bit because I really like the greens I've got on the interior. I don't really want to carry this in too far. I'm just kind of tapping it in there I, because I don't want to get crazed and be blending and find that I've blended way over into my other greens. I want to just keep it on this outer corner. Why? I don't know. I just do. See that's part of the fun of playing with makeup. You can put it where you want it. You can put it where you think it looks good. You can control how much of it you use in one particular place. You don't have to use the color over the entire eye if you don't want to. That's one of those 
if you wanna, you can. If you don't wanna, you don't gotta. Kind of situations. Trying to make sure I'm relatively even. I know you've seen occasionally where I get seriously not so even. And that's a matter of my vision being a hindrance. No makeup wipe. One of the reasons I don't do my face first, usually, and if I do my face first, or if I've got something that's definitely going to give me fallout and it's got a lot of shimmer to it, I put the eye makeup shields on. Yes, I'm two-fisting it. relatively even. You know about them relatives. Okay. Interesting. I believe I'm really starting to like this palette a lot. That's a pretty good start. I believe I'm going to step out for a minute, get my face put on, see what I think is what I want to do to finish this up once I get back. And we'll see how the rest of this goes. Hello, I'm back. Yep, I've got the face mostly on. I've got a little, I've got my foundation, I've got a little powder, a little bronzer, a little blush, a little kind of champagne-y highlight. Yes, I used that Charlotte Tilbury pack again. Yes, don't come for me. <laughs> I likes it. <laughs> It's also very convenient because it's got all that, the face powder and the bronzer and the blush and, and two different shades of highlight and it, there, yes. Look, just because I can't afford to go running out and buying stuff like that Charlotte Tilbury palette and had to cross my fingers and hope I hit on a giveaway does not mean I do not appreciate some of the really nice stuff. Okay? Okay. Mm. Now, have we got that? Are we all okay now? Now, I'm going to get another brush. And I'm going to take... Let's see. That's the color I put out in those outer corners. I think... Shut it. I've got this kind of olive green, which is also a bit of a shimmer, that I'm going to put under the lower lashes. And then I've got that white up in the upper corner that I'm probably going to tag right into the inner corner. I'm not really going to spray the olive going under the lowers.
because I want to do just the least little bit of smoke there. Just because. Just because I can. I really like this dark, pretty much OD green. I've got a pant ton of relations that were in the military. When I was younger and still working in offices and such, I worked for DOD as a GS typing clerk. That's what they called us anyway basically a secretary for a small unit of military and civilian people that worked on particular projects. I thought it was kind of nifty. I had several people that, you know, some of the contractors and such, that occasionally they'd try to hire some of the clerks away from away from the military. And I'm going, guys, I'm working a GS contract here, general services. I've got a bit of job security here a bit and I don't have to worry that the contractor may or may not lose their contract the end of each contract year I'm getting a little bit spitzy okay my ring light My ring light is LED, however, the bright lights do eventually get a little warm, even for LED. <laughs> do, 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 do. Now, this is a common issue with the felt tip marker liners. Sometimes that little type cap that's supposed to help prevent the marker from drying out comes loose from the other cap and wants to stay attached. So you fight with it a bit and then you end up with a liner on your fingers. And that happens even with fancy stuff. It's all a matter of how much liner gets loose in the cap and kind of glues it to the pen instead of holding on to the exterior cap, it gloms onto the pen. If you get enough of the liner material, you know, the liquid stuff, you get enough of the liquid stuff attached to that little cover cap and it will, if there's enough, and it's a strong enough pull, it will turn loose of the main cap and stick to your pen. No, I am not trying to make freckles. 
hands behave. Yes, my hands are acting up today. And I'm doing this with this hand on this side, not because I'm trying to practice with this hand, but because this one is being crampy. I'm having to hold the pen this way with this one, as well as when I do the other side with the other hand because if I try to hold this standard my hands are going to cramp up and it will be unfun and I don't like it when my hands cramp up it hurts Da, 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 da. That squeaky door is my beloved husband coming in with a big pitcher of iced tea. He is a wonderful husband. Bestest man in the whole world. <coughs> those little running feet are the little doggies. with my eyes for just a second and okay where did I put it there it is I'm going to put this part on which is an AOA studio liquid lip it's kind of a blue gray but it's gray I want to get this on so that it has a couple of minutes to dry down before I put on the gloss over it which is another AOA Studio piece diamond lip gloss and it's kind of got some greeny to it and this one is called mermaid so I get the gray on let it settle get out that fancy Charlotte Tilbury mascara Now I'm figuring this liquid lipstick is going to come in real handy next month. Without putting any special extra color on it. may even use some use it a little bit in the eyeshadow wardrobe depending get under here Put a little 
greeny blue on there. I even thought about it and thought about doing, leaving the liquid lip a little wet, popping some of the shadow on it to pick up the green. But I think this works. Or at least it works well enough. Let's see. Pop the pins out. Let's see how this did. Get my handy dandy pick comb. Some of it stayed just as straight. Must have missed it while it was curling. That's okay. See, some of there's a the little bit of gold hanging out. Now this is really going to look spiff when I do the purple. Do that purple palette with this purple hair. Yeah. It will be very purple. My grandmother would be thrilled. There you go. Tell me what you think. No, I'm not kidding. Let me know what you really think. Be good. Mm -hmm.